I think on one point that there was a big discussion yesterday is that we have a lot of new platforms and new technologies where we now on the single cell level look into the tumor heterogeneity and we learn very early why tumors are getting resistant to certain treatments, what are new mechanisms of resistance, how can we overcome this. And I think in Ken Anderson's talk he really summarized a lot of different aspects that we now with molecular, with immunological strategies, we're really moving towards long-term disease-free survival, maybe cure. And I think in a major impact really has um, the immunotherapies. We have the antibody drug conjugates that are now approved. We have the monoclonal antibodies which are parts of the first line, second line, third line therapy. So they really have already become a part of the routine clinical um, uh, practice that we are using to treat our myeloma patients. And now we have the CAR T cells, the bispecifics, allocant T cells, T cell engages, NK cell engages. So it's a, 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 a yesterday I called it a, as a kind of a tsunami which is coming now. And I think this is all extremely promising. And I think we all expect uh, just looking at the response rate that we observe in patients with six, six lines th prior therapy, we have an overall response rate up to 100%. 80% stringent complete remissions. I think this is something we would have never expected one or two years ago that this might happen. So I think we are all fascinated about the new options that we have, especially for our patients.